Dream Team, we're back at it again with another video of title thumbnail. Wow, it's been a while since we've done one of these. I can't even remember the last time we've done one of these. I think the last person, man, I want to say, I don't know why I want to say Billie Eilish. I don't know why. I think that was the last L. Was it? Because Ask Me Anything and Song Association are two different things, but the last L I think we did was Billie Eilish. I don't know. It's, like I said, it's been a while, but I was super excited when you guys dropped this in the comment section down below. Jenny. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Like, to catch them solo and by themselves is rare, right? We could say it's rare. Um, I would have never thought she would have been on this, done an interview, whatever it is, but super dope. Hopefully, they don't get too personal, um, but at least personal enough to the point to where it's comfortable and we can find out just a little bit more. Maybe uh, find out some things that we didn't know. That's why I do like L. They keep it classy. It's going to be lit. Super excited. I really don't have to explain it because you guys already know what's going on. You guys know how it rock. And so, yeah, man, let's see what you guys cooked up. No cap. <laughs> ah, I hate choosing between. She's somebody. so pretty. Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I'm going to let L ask me anything. It's crazy, bro, because I don't ever really hear her talk. I just... I can't leave my house without headphones. Because I love listening to music. Okay. On I stage. I feel the most powerful when I'm Blackpink. Having my girls by my side. I told you, bro. Doing, doing what we love. Performing on stage. Interacting with fans, I think. I told you, I'm getting good at this, bro. I know I some Jenny. A lot of advices in my life, but recently, I'm gonna go with it's okay to slow down and take your time. Facts. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. So the last time I was in set was, I think, for our video shutdown for Blackpink, and we didn't sleep for good four days and we had to shoot right through it and there was a lot of choreographies to do which we actually learned in the spot so yeah that was very memorable damn so my house with my dogs and my family yeah it kind of kind of like to stay creative um, every day I watch anything if I listen to anything I try to be inspired but recently I'll have to say working on a new album born pink for black pink just being in the studio hanging out with the girls and our producer Teddy it's wherever whatever conversation we have it becomes a part of our story so I think yeah being in the studio that's tough that's I can see that as being an the artist Chanel look that I had last March in Paris I had a black puffy jacket with a subtle Chanel logo and a matching set inside a cute mini skirt and a corset I did this really cute braided hair that I've never tried before but turned out to be really amazing I loved it and then I had a little ribbon sock with a cute cute high heel moment I love her voice but that was a fire look the biggest cheerleader number one cheerleader of all time is my mom of course and i think the girls like we love supporting each other and like always rooting for what they've got going on in their lives that's my what's up comfort food is durungji and you guys could look it up <laughs> okay i carry my own durungji in my suitcase everywhere i go so i could eat it while I'm traveling or at work or at home so I have it in my bag pretty much every day damn is that much of a comfort <laughs> ah, I hate choosing between so many things three things I can't live without my family my friends and my fans three apps I need in my life I rock with that I noticed nothing was materialistic I get really shy when I'm speaking English and when I'm doing interviews. I don't think people realize like how nervous I am inside and like I'm actually literally shaking inside. But yeah, 
try to keep it cool. <laughs> I was just gonna say that too. I was like, she seems really nervous during interviews by herself. Me. But yeah, I look back to all, all the works that I've done so far and it's really amazing because I don't really get the time to appreciate, you know, everything that has been a dream of mine that I've accomplished. So yeah, when those moments go by, I, I get really proud. proud. Probably. Yeah, you got to give yourself a pat on the Thank back. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Elle today. Bye. Tough. I'll watch it all just because it's Jenny. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to things like that, you got to give yourself a pat on the back. Um, Like, being proud of yourself is... I think that's... I, it's, well, especially for them. Like, you know what I mean? And I say them black, pink. But just everything that she had to go through. And, I'm, and you know, the crazy thing about that is... um, Because I, I always relate back to the documentary, Light It Up or light up the sky. Um, I didn't realize that Jenny actually played a huge part in mentoring Blackpink. Um, uh, like, Rose said it, Lisa said it, you know, even Jisoo said it. When it comes to learning about things outside of the industry or even things within the industry, um, and we're even, I'm even talking about, um, confidence. Um, I'm talking about the way you carry yourself about one of the, one of the things that I really loved. Um, I can't remember who said it. I want to say it was Lisa. It had to be, I, I believe it was Lisa. She said that, or it might've been Rose. I know it's one of those two, but it said that Jenny really taught her, um, how to hold and maintain a private life how to carry yourself within the public because of who you are now and when you look at jenny uh, just because i read body language really well um i noticed that when she's not with blackpink or when she usually does an, a solo interview she's nervous she's not fidgety but almost to the sense to where she's uncomfortable but she's in a comfortable setting, if that makes sense. Nobody is really, nobody is making her feel uncomfortable. But just the fact that she's by herself and she's speaking, it's like an anxiety feeling and a sense of uh, being uncomfortable. I noticed that she's really shy. Um, but even like she said, on stage is when she feels the most powerful. I think that's why I love watching offstage moments and watching on stage because it's literally two different people you see jenny right and then you know how they have the comparison of like nini you know but you see jenny off stage and totally somebody different right you're like where's the energy where's the? she seems more calm reserved shy um timid at most times you know um but then on stage a completely different woman you know what I mean? So it's like, I love that part. And I would have never in a million years would have expected Jenny to be the one teaching these people or teaching Blackpink everything that they taught or everything that they said that Jenny taught. You know what I mean? Like, I just, not to discredit her or anything, it's just, I would have never guessed, you know? Jenny, if anybody, I would have thought Jesus was doing that. But no, Jenny. Um, so, man, I, I love it. Seeing these one-on-one -on -one interviews is just exciting. I don't care who it is. It could have been Jisoo, Rose, or Lisa. But, um, yeah, man, so that's, uh, like, I love that. I love offstage moments. It's been a while since we, you know, reacted to Elle. So, I mean, here it is, though. You guys wanted to be spammed it. Y'all go crazy, man. Y'all already know what to do. Anything in the, I see in the comment section down below, that's what we're reacting to. We're going crazy. Stop the cow. Stop the cow. We're on the road to 50K. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on post bell notifications. Go crazy. We got more videos to upload, more bangers after banger after banger. I can't wait for you to see them, but I can't do that if I'm here. I gotta go. I'll catch you in the next. I'm out of here. Sheesh.